Hello everyone, this is the Dinosaur Hunter for Epoch Now, and welcome to our next episode of Epoch News. Today on this exciting episode, we come to you to report on a second official species for the king of the dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus itself. So without further ado, let's dive into this exciting publication. For many years, it's typically been believed that there was only one species of Tyrannosaurus that dominated North America, that being Tyrannosaurus rex, the Tyrant Lizard King. In addition, Tyrannosaurini, the tribe that Tyrannosaurus belongs to, has been believed for the longest time to originate in Asia. However, a new species of Tyrannosaurus has been described that completely defies these two ideas. Named Tyrannosaurus micriensis, named after the Micri rock group, was discovered in the Campanian Maastrichtian rock layers of the late Cretaceous Paul Lake Formation, located in New Mexico. Despite this being a new species, paleontologists were aware of this new taxon's existence for a while. The paper states that the holotype specimen NMMNHP-3698 was originally considered to be another specimen for T-Rex, until further discoveries of cranial material along with reanalysis proved otherwise. Unlike the previous papers from the past few decades that attempted to validate new Tyrannosaurus species, T. macriensis has key differences as a taxon that validates its existence as a distinct species. For instance, the holotype specimen, being known from skull fragments and a nearly complete lower jaw, has anatomical traits that differentiate it from T-Rex. Two of the biggest differences are the eye ridges and the skull roof overall. Its position shows that the skull was thinner and flatter than what the skulls of T-Rex are famously known for. Another reason for the validation of this taxon is the time range for this new species. The Hall Lake Formation has rock layers that date from the early Campanian, 83.6 million years ago, all the way towards the late Maastrichtian, 66 million years ago. Radiometric dating suggests that T. micriensis lived between 72.7 to 70.9 million years ago, making it 5 to 7 million years older than T. rex, which lived from 68 to 66 million years ago. Because of the geologic dating, T. micriensis therefore shows paleontologists that the tribe Tyrannosaurini originated in southern Laramidia in North America, as opposed to Asia like what had initially been suggested. In conclusion, Tyrannosaurus micriensis is a fascinating new Tyrannosaurus. This not only marks it as the second official species to ever be described, but its discovery shows how the king of all dinosaurs first came to be, and how Tyrannosaurus as a genus lasted far longer than we had previously thought. The new species also helps us understand where this specific clade originated from, giving us more insight into Tyrannosaurid evolution. Thank you for watching this episode of Epoch News, and we will see all of you in the next video.